Good evening, children. I hope you all are fine by the grace of God. Today, for our English, we are going to learn a new lesson. The topic of the lesson is called the lost pumpkin. It is. It's a long story. From that lesson ten, we are going to learn half of the story. In the next lesson eleven, we are going to learn the remaining uh, half of the story. So, shall we? Help! Help! He has robbed us. The thief! A loud voice woke up Saumia. Rubbing her eyes, she jumped out of her out of bed and ran to the window. In the kitchen garden below, she could see her grandfather. angrily waving his walking stick somia ran down the stairs with her brother rohit so the scene is starting where the scene is starting a girl named somia is sleeping in the house not in the ground floor but in the first floor so she heard a voice a loud voice what the voice was what noise she heard what that person was shouting he is shouting help help he has robbed us the thief like that the no, uh, voice was shouting so she rubbed her eyes she got up from the bed she looked down the window in the kitchen garden kitchen garden means almost all the houses is got waste and at the back of the house each house will have a garden there are simple small small plants uh, like uh, tomatoes and green chilies and brinjal some like that plants will be there and curry leaves lemon trees like that so the waste from water go that water will be sent to these plants and they grow for the house need we take from there and we use for our cooking there is called house garden okay the kitchen garden and from there who she saw her grandfather dada ji dada ji means father's father so he was standing there and his old man has got walking stick with that what he was doing waving that is moving from side to side so after seeing this first she she heard then after that she saw and she ran down the stairs when she was running down her brother rohit also joined her dada ji stood near a bed of vegetables here this bed of vegetable means it's not the sleeping bed it's the row okay and rows usually when we plant uh, vegetables we plant it in rows bed of vegetables his face was red with anger so he was very angry what happened dada ji asked somia unable to speak because he was very angry no he could not speak unable to speak dada ji pointed his stick to a spot to one place okay and uh, somia looked then looked again and screamed oh no it's gone Rohit still confused. So, so the girl understood. Somia understood when grandfather pointed to the spot, a place in the garden. So she understood what was missing there. So she said, "Oh no, it's gone!" Like that she shouted. But Rohit did not understand. So he is confused and asked, "What's gone?" My pumpkin, my precious pumpkin! Cried Dada Ji. Precious means very valuable, and uh, now I can say valuable things like uh, gold is valuable. It uh, means we have to pay more money to get it. That is valuable things, precious. My pumpkin, my precious pumpkin! cried Dada Ji. By this time, a crowd had collected at the seat. So uh, when Dada ji shouted. First, uh, Saumya and Rohit ran and came, and by the time, because of cry, his cry, like his loud voice, 
too many people came okay crowd of people had collected in the scene in that spot in the kitchen garden the gardener was in tears that means he was crying his son the gardener's son uh, part 2 looked sad the gardener's son part 2 also looked very sad the milkman was curious to know what had happened and the washerwoman nodded wisely so how many people are there gardener his son milkman and the washerwoman all or gathered all have gathered and they were very sad to see that dada ji has lost the pumpkin somebody has taken the pumpkin i saw him jump over the wall she said who the washerwoman washerwoman is the per- person who washes our clothes laundry nonsense said paul too he came from the other side i saw him so everyone not giving passing comment and giving suggestions this would have happened that would have happened imaginary things okay why didn't you catch him then asked rohit when paul too said he came from the other side i saw him then rohit is asking why you didn't catch him just then saw me a squealed squealed means cried out in a loud shrill voice what she said a footprint look what she said a footprint look a footprint is when we walk our uh, shoes or uh, feet that uh, impression what we leave on the wet or uh, clay or sand that is called footprint okay so she saw that and she showed it to everyone everyone looked at it sure enough there was a large footprint near the pumpkin plant so where the pumpkin was missing in that place they saw a footprint hmm said rohit thoughtfully now who has such big feet of course mr kapoor's gardener so he is who uh, uh, assumption who is telling like this rohit is telling so look at the footprint it's very large so this must be mr kapoor's gardener so that was his conclusion i knew kapoor was behind this always after my pumpkins come on let's get him road dada ji so he was very angry it took the children some time to calm their excited grandfather so <clears throat> they were talking okay the grandfather don't worry okay dada ji we will go we will find out definitely it will be there we can get it back something or not they were they, they were telling to calm him to make him quiet they felt sorry for him because they knew how he felt about his pumpkins especially the one <clears throat> that was stolen so the <clears throat> stolen pumpkin is something special okay so they they can understand how he must be feeling when you are treasuring something every day you go and see how big it grows and uh, any changes like that you will be watching isn't it so he was very carefully looking after that pumpkin so the children can understand how much it has affected him you see for the last 15 years dada ji had been winning the local vegetable contest and walking away with the first prize so now you know the reason why he was very much disturbed and worried he was growing this pumpkin for what for the vegetable contest usually in the villages they have this contest contest means everyone will bring the vegetable for example their best vegetable from the garden and the one someone will come to judge and they will say ah oh, this is the best fruit this is the best vegetable like that they will select and they'll give a prize to encourage the farmers to grow more lovely uh, different kinds of fruits and vegetables so for 15 years for how many years 15 years dadaji was getting the first prize 
that is why he was very careful and he was uh, treasuring that pumpkin now that pumpkin is lost so definitely he will be very upset isn't it uh, so here walking away with means getting getting the first prize his pumpkin was always the best no other vegetable could, vegetable could match it so his pumpkin always have so everybody knows in the village that he grows lovely vegetables something different from others this year's pumpkin was huge but now it was gone so like past 15 years he was producing and now this year's pumpkin was very huge huge means very big large but now it is gone somebody has stolen it of course mr kapu was the thief he had challenged dadaji challenged means what invited to com compete in a contest so maybe because dadaji was getting this uh, first prize every year mr kapoor once challenged him okay come on we will see next year who will win like that he was challenging dadaji saying he would grow a better pumpkin and win the prize so that was the challenge who mr kapoor has challenged dadaji many a time he had come looking around with the excuse of tasting granny's pumpkin halwa better than mathru halwas he always said so like he is a neighbor who mr kapoor he used to come to dadaji's house and uh, every time grandma granny means grandmother grandfather is dadaji grandmother is granny uh, she used to make pumpkin pumpkin halwa so he used to come and eat and what he used to do after eating he'll say better than mathru halwa mathru is a person who has got halwa shop sweet shop so what halwa he is making compared to that granny's halwa is better that's what he always used to say now somya tried to reason with her grandfather try to reason with her grandfather means she's trying to talk to him explain to him make him understand dada ji what she said dada ji we cannot just uh, march into mr kapoor's house and call him a thief maybe he hasn't taken the pumpkin what she's trying to tell and the ji grandpa grandpa we just cannot go to mr kapoor's house and tell him hey you thief why you stole like that we have no proof how can we call him a thief like that she was telling i know he has dada ji is very angry he is not ready to think what is telling straight directly he is having doubts on him so he is telling i know he has said dada ji i have an idea said rohit rohit is telling let's pretend pretend means let us act to visit him so casually just like that uh, neighbors to neighbor no we will go let us go visit him uh, dada ji while you speak to him somya and i will look around so we three of us will go to mr kapoor's house and when you are going when you are having conversation with dada uh, with mr kapoor and somia and my sub that is rohit and somia will go look around with they will go search for the pumpkin the pumpkin is quite big so it cannot be hidden somewhere so they wanted to they said they will go look around the house when they were having conversation if he is really stolen wow rohit this is your first great idea of the year teased somia teased means she was making fun of Uh, rohit so off they went to mr kapoor's house three of them went to kapoor's house he and dada ji soon began to argue about their vegetable gardens so it's not a conversation it's a argument like uh, like challenging and uh, accusing all these things they were ha having with each other the children quickly slipped away to look around mr kapoor's garden they looked everywhere but there was no sign of the pumpkin where could it be 
wondered Soumya. In the house? Look, whispered Rohit. That little shed, it must be in there. So they saw a shed. They are thinking maybe this was not. Uh, that means there were they could not find the pumpkin in the garden. So they thought maybe it is in the shed. There is a little shed. They wanted to go there. However, all that they found were bags of manure. Manure, some flower pots. Manure means what they give uh, fertilizer to for the plants to grow. So with these two pages, we will be stopping, and uh, we will continue with the remaining page and the exercise and question answers in the next class. I want you to read these two pages and learn the meanings. Dada ji, father's father, precious. Very valuable, squealed, cried out in a loud, shrill voice. Okay, and uh, walking away with. Please don't say here. Here means walking away with has got many meanings, but in this lesson for this situation, the meaning for walking away with is the meaning is getting. Okay, children. Please, when you write the meaning, don't write here. Don't need, no need to mention that. Walking away with getting. Challenged, invited to compete in a contest. Challenge means what? Challenged. Not challenge. Challenged. Invited to compete with a contest. Halwa. That means what? Sweet, sweet meat seller. So read these two pages and learn the meanings. We'll continue in the next class. Have a good day, children. Bye.